How many indoor or potted plants have you had challenges with? I imagine probably quite a few. I know I definitely have. I've yo-yoed between being a kill them with kindness kind of plant owner to then underwatering until I figured out the watering schedule that worked for me and these guys. There's not one answer for how often you should water or even the best method of watering. The best advice I can give you to reform your plant murdering habits is to learn when your plant is giving you the signs, like wilting leaves or dry soil shrinking away from the sides of the pot. To water your plants, there's a few methods you can try, like top watering with a deep saucer. This method works via the soil soaking up the water into the pot and is helpful to prevent things like fungus gnats because the top inch of the soil will always remain dry and therefore unsuitable for them to lay their pesky eggs. If you're someone who uses something like an old cup to water your indoor plants and you find you often avoid doing it because it takes forever, then I highly recommend getting something like this, especially if you're eco-conscious like me, because this eco-friendly home and watering can is made out of recycled plastic. For indoors, you want to get a watering can like this one with a narrow spout which will allow you to neatly control where the water goes, which is obviously in the pot and not your bedside table. You want to wet the surface evenly, then wait a few seconds. If you don't see water coming out of the saucer, give it a bit more until you do. I like this top watering method because I know the roots are getting an even soaking right the way through the pot. When the seasons change, you want to keep an eye out for the first stage of wilt. You'll notice your watering days will be more frequent in the warmer months. The range of sizes means you can match the can specific to how many plants you're watering, saving yourself time running back and forth from the tap. And the four unique colors means you'll have one to suit any room. Remember, each plant is different and learning your watering schedule takes time. So if you have a few plant casualties along the way, please don't beat yourself up about it. Stick to your indoor or potted plant passion. Utilize equipment that works for you. And don't forget to tell your plants you love them.